Drift Mark is an island slightly west of Dragonstone in Blackwater Bay. It is the seat of House Valarian and part of the Crown Lands, with its banners pledged to the Lords of Dragonstone. In terms of geography, Driftmark is very different from its neighbouring Dragonstone, with low-lying and fertile land. Its name comes from the large amount of driftwood brought by the tides. It has two key castles in Castle Driftmark, then dot the island itself, and High Tide, a newer castle, built as a replacement for the cramped and decaying Castle Driftmark. Key towns on the island include Hull, and the Spice Town among numerous shipyards. The castle of Driftmark is a grim looking castle, damp and flooded with its walls stained with sea salt. This is in contrast with the other castle on the island, High Tide. High Tide was the seat of the Sea Snake, Lord Corlys Valarium, one of the richest and most powerful lords in Westeros. His wealth came from the treasures he brought back from Essos. He constructed High Tide to replace the damp and crowded ancestral seat of House Valarian, Castle Driftmark, fishing village of Spice Town, sits in the shadow of high tide. Due to its location, Spice Town attracts attention for much of the trade that would normally be heading to the mainland. Thus, the town has become crowded with ships from the free cities and beyond. House Valerian descended from Valyria, possessing similar Valyrian traits of silver gold hair and violet eyes to those of House Targaryen. They first settled the island of Driftmark before Aegon's conquest and the arrival of the Targaryens at Dragonstone. As a result, both these houses have close ties with each other with many marriages between the two. Aegon the Conqueror's mother was even a Valarian. The ships from Driftmark allowed the Valarians to control Blackwater Bay and into the Narrow Sea. The island of Driftmark will play a huge role throughout history, most notably when Queen Alyssa Valarian fled there with her children after the death of her husband, King Aenys Targaryen, when his brother, Maegor, crowned himself king. At Driftmark, she crowned her own son, Prince Aegon King. Later on, during the Dance of Dragons, Lord Corlys Valarian declared for the Blacks, and Driftmark would play a key role during the early days of the Civil War, with much of the Black's navy coming from Driftmark, allowing them to control the Blackwater Bay and Narrow Sea. In more recent history, Sir Davos Seaworth sailed past Driftmark on his way back to Dragonstone after the loss of the Battle of Blackwater at King's Landing. House Valarian had declared for Stannis Baratheon during the War of Five Kings. However, it should be noted that their power had declined greatly since the days of the Targaryen kings. So although it was a boost for Stannis having the Valarians on side, and all their ships, it didn't necessarily have the benefit it once might have done. This video is more about telling the story of the island of Driftmark. The history of the House Valarian is long and complex, like most houses in Westeros, so the history of the house will be talked about in its own video. Next time on A Hitchhiker's Guide to Westeros, we're going to be looking at the rest of the Blackwater Bay and its key locations, and some of the events that have occurred there over the centuries.